Ha wow yo yippee yo yippee yay guys power number 20 and I'm super excited with you guys today as always we'll dig dive into love the community then talk about what's happening on Swiss board network and yes there's many things happening this week with new alpha deals with new thematics and a bit about what happened in the keynotes um, as you guys know my name is Cyrus Phil I'm the proud founder and CEO of Swiss board always here to serve do 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 Question of the week, who is going to be eligible for the Seaborg NFTs? Um, there is a lot of things, a lot of people will be eligible. So everyone who participated in the Series A, I think so, is eligible. Uh, and it's going to be free for the Genesis. And then you have to pay for it for uh, based on investments that you've made. You'll be eligible or not uh, for essentially these beautiful Seaborg NFTs. Uh, there would be more things that we'll be doing going forward, uh, but please keep tuned in. <laughs> news of the week. Uh, there's been a lot of different things. I think so the nicest news is that UBS and Bank of Montreal have both shown on their <laughs> quarterly reports that they invested actually in Bitcoin ETF. So I think so this is really, really nice. Um, CPI, as you guys know, is not doing very well right now. So it's going a little bit crazy uh, as things is. Uh, um, if not overall, the European Union reportedly integrating cryptocurrency into his vast market. That makes a lot of sense for all of it. So let's happen. Let's see what's happening actually on the markets. So the market is really channeling itself. We see really something going between 59K and 64K. And I think so we're going to wait for some time. Uh, before going that my predictions personally is that this summer is going to be crazy everyone always think that summers are are predictable and nothing happens and that's the reason why everything happens <laughs> it's as easy as that when you don't go for the black swan or the the golden goose we that's my way to say is summers happen the golden goose that goose that you just talk you hit and it just shits out uh, uh, beautiful eggs of golden eggs so this is my prediction uh I think this summer is going to go crazy as it happened in 2017, as it happened in summer uh, 2020, if you guys remember, uh, happened a bit in summer 21 as well. Uh, and I think it's going to happen exactly uh, this summer too in summer 24. So for that, uh, people are trading. I know some people are making a good amount of money on Swissport playing that mean reversion strategy, uh, which is really nice. If you're doing it, congrats to yourself. But please make sure that uh, we're going in a nice ride probably in the, in the couple of next months. Um, so yeah, the markets a bit looked like it's boring, but not necessarily because weekly token performance, it was a bit red for most of the tokens, but obviously Swissborg did well, but more importantly, Pepe have done extremely well. And Pepe, why Pepe? Pepe is fun. Pepe is an army. Pepe shows that value is not necessarily something boring uh, something that could be really fun could be adorable a meme could be great and you tokenize that into a an any token and then you just show the world and i think so what has just r related recently is this fantastic gamestop i mean gamestop is literally on fire i mean literally on fire <laughs> I mean, if you talked about GameStop, it's just amazing. It went from essentially sub, sub $15 to over $50. Uh, so that is essentially the thing that 3x, so from 5 billion to 15 billion. And it shows that the whole financial system is broken. And more importantly, what it shows as well is that we as people that have been pushed on the sideline of these markets uh, has the not been able to profit from the investment of the big Wall Street, you know, fancy Thai people. It's just like, actually, no, we could bring whatever value we want in the market. The meme token, as same as the GameStop goes together, it's about rallying a cause of crazy degens that want to show to the world that value could be perceived in multiple different ways and it's not because one big bank or one big hedge fund controls so much money that he will always dictate the world. And and it, it has a much more beautiful thing than just pumping and making money out of it. Because that's obviously something that's very interesting. But it what it really is, it's like a Moliere uh, of the new ages of finance. It's really how to portrait that Dark Vader has been the emperor for a long time. 
but Jedi Strikes Always Back. And we might be the Ewoks or we might be uh, uh, a beautiful Jedi, but we are essentially a collation of a lot of smart people that could eventually change forever the whole beautiful financial industry that has been really profiting only the very few. And I think so this has very much to do with with the Pepe, though the whole meme culture. And just regarding that, let's talk about what happened in the keynote. So we talked about last week in the and one of the things in the conference, of course, the most important was really the fact of how we transition from the centralized part that we had to the decentralized world and how the MEX is really the new beauty out of it. We talked about multiple different things about our roadmap, how it's evolving, how legal compliant we are, and how Mika's is facing or we're facing right now some great opportunities to really conquer Europe. And I think there's one thing that we've talked about as well as the Borg pad and how the Borg pad will be the next, you know, uh, type of uh, platform where you could finally bootstrap liquidity all together and where we could really profit from this community centric, strong approach to get the best deals on the table. And to celebrate a bit that, which was not the big bouquet, but just a small fun thing is to, to show the world that Swiss Borg could create a fun meme. And here is uh, the type form, which is very simple. Uh, that's a sweet Swiss Borg meme battle that will happen in the next two weeks. So you have still two weeks to essentially link your Swiss Borg app or your email. Uh, then after to name of the token, then essentially the website and last the Twitter to show the essentially the traction. There's a few projects that are in uh, that are quite funny, to be honest. Uh, the the One of the big one right now is the San Bernard Borg, which is... Borgi, uh, but there's this one, uh, and then last is that list. There's this one. Uh, there's a few other ones that have been now uh, pushing as well, but I'll keep them uh, for later on because I don't want uh, to push any, uh, yeah, anyone that I didn't submit before this this battle. So big ideas is just to make fun, make some noise, and make it the most cute, fun, fair, community centric possible. Uh, let's talk about other tokens within the Swissborg app. <laughs> As you guys know, Camino uh, was launched last week on the Swissborg app, uh, which was great. It's a great partner as of Camino right now. We are able to do Borg and Sol uh, through them. If you guys don't know essentially what Borg, uh, so, um, what Camino is, I'll just show you the app right now. The great thing about Camino, it's that it's the main DeFi app with Jupyter on Solana. What they really do is that they provide liquidity on multiple different DEXs. Uh, there's as well a borrow lend the thing that's going really well. There's as well this liquidity. And this liquidity, uh, which is really good, it's uh, there's a lot of different tokens on it. And what we do have, of course, is Borg Soul. Uh, so you have Borg versus BSOL, which is a partnership with Blaze, essentially. You're able to, uh, you know, get a great incentives here uh, to, to essentially be able to have some BSOL versus some Borg, right? Like by burning liquidity, you could actually earn some, on top of this, some uh, Blaze and Borg uh, in order to get uh, essentially potentially compensate if there's any uh, losses that could happen with permanent losses. Uh, we have as well the Borg Soul. This is the one that is actually into the Swiss Borg app, right? Uh, so this is something that's really nice because you see right now I have like, for example, 61 souls and 44,000 uh, Swiss Borg tokens. I'm losing a little bit of money here, but these things change and it's essentially, I just done this morning, so it doesn't really uh, happen that. The good thing that you have with analytics is that you can really understand uh, what would have been the best way to do this? Uh, is it with the Camino strategy? Was it just to have 100% Borg? In this case, it would be the case. If it would be 100% Soul, uh, which would be the worst case. And the token pair, which is, yeah, the 50-50, which is here. So you have all different type of strategies that enable you to uh, see what would be the best way to do that. Despite of potentially making money, uh, there's another thing that's very interesting is that it provides liquidity. So liquidity is something that is very, very good. So even if potentially you have some permanent losses that could happen, I think so what you have to understand is you're contributing to the Swiss Borg ecosystem. So I don't encourage everyone to go right now on Camino and deposit all their Borg, but I think so it is a good thing. Uh, what I would like to uh, show as well a bit from uh, last time is on SoulScan, if you go on SoulScan right now, we could check the number of 
of addresses that we have and it's still quite low actually it's still not that big obviously borg pie is not launched and there's many other things that haven't been launched but if you look at what has happened so far we're a little bit shy of 300 uh wallets so far that are uh, within the uh soul ecosystem and that means we have pretty much 5.5 million uh, board tokens that are on Solana. So these are things of updates from our last uh, show uh, that was very important. So within a week already, uh, a little bit less actually than a week, we're doing quite well. The 512 people that have moved from Borg uh, camps to the next camp uh, will be er, actually getting some Camino tokens, which is really cool. And I've heard uh, that we are about to list today API3 which is something that is very, very, very robust. Essentially, it's an Oracle infrastructure that enables DeFi platforms to not get stolen their MEV. So the MEV, as you guys know, is a way to front run essentially uh, different DEXs, different platforms where they see orders happen, they pay to uh, essentially, they front run the orders of batches in order to extract and to arbitrage a bit every position by buying and selling these different tokens on the market. The reason uh, that we believe this API is very interesting, three, is that they're gonna be giving this up for, against their tokens to all these projects. So these projects start realizing that API three has really a good way to to not it, put, stop the front running. They're probably gonna be acquiring a lot of new tokens. So it's something that's very, very smartly thought I don't know more about the team, but I think so it's definitely, uh, a, I mean, something to look into. Something as well to look into is obviously real world assets. In 2016, when I got really into crypto and I understand it the whole through decentralization, the Web3 part, the DeFi part, I was so excited about another topic, which was real world assets. How can you tokenize anything that comes from the real world? And um, there's no... No one could say that this is not worth it. This is probably the best, one of the best use cases that we have in Web3, which is that finally everything could be interchangeable. Anyone could buy and sell 24 seven. That's how the world should work, right? Like if you wanna buy a GameStop right now stock, it's so difficult. It's so freaking difficult to go through it. So many few people on the planet actually could probably get access to that, which though everyone would like to pick, take part of it. And that's why Web3 and all these mean tokens again are even bigger than the rest because anyone could buy essentially Pepe and now everyone could buy Borg, which is awesome, uh, through Solana, right? And through uh, any DEXs on, on Ethereum. So I think so this is something that is really something very strong. You could have real estate, you could have bonds, stocks, you could have anything that you really want. The thematic composition is about to be released. I mean, it's being released right now. And the great thing what we see is that it's, it's very well thought. The investment team has played together all the different narratives within the thematic. So you have tokenization protocols, you have decentralized money, you have credit platforms, commodities, you have real world asset tokens, uh, bring tokenization and you have oracles, which is very good play as well. So Chainlink and Pit for this. And at last, of course, we have a native token, which makes the basket ha happen, right? So I think so this is very, very well put. I think so them, RWA is a, is a very massive thematic that people should understand and should play. Um, you know, you could agree or disagree on a few of these tokens, but to be honest, on my personal, I like most of them. Um, just not a big fan of VeChain, to be honest, but all the others, I really like them. Uh, Synthetics has been one of the main one. MakerDAO and Frax is the two biggest guys that they're in the playing. Mantra, I, Polymesh, I don't know that much, to be honest. Uh, Paxos Gold, obviously. TrueFi, great tr credit platform. And the only two big oracles we have today is Chainlink and Pith, and we talked about this multiple times. So I think so. this is definitely a huge great basket to have. And the great thing is that will be released uh, based on your burger rank uh, and starting tomorrow, I think so, or after tomorrow. Uh, and so the higher your burger rank is, the, the you know, sooner the batch will be, you'll get it. Keynote in some words is was great. Uh, 450 antennas actually in Lausanne uh, online. I think so we had 1,800 to 3,000. Uh, it was a great atmosphere. So speakers were great. I don't know if I did a good job. I hope I did. 
Uh, there was after a good fun party as well uh, that happened in, in Lausanne, which was great. So I think so. It was really, really good. Thank you so much for all the people that attended. It really meant a lot. Even those small conversations that some of us we had, uh, you know, it was really, really nice. And thank you so much uh, for attending it. Uh, we will have a next big one will happen. Uh, there'll be more a party, but it will happen in Zug. Uh, and we'll talk about it right now. But before talking about that, we actually have... Uh, we, Danny, well, Daniel was, and Hugo were both at Ruby C in Montpellier. It was really good uh, show that went there. I hope you guys, Borgers, went there, attended it. It was a lot of fun. I heard I couldn't make it, but uh, I really wish I did. And talking about next events, uh, we have a community event that'll happen in Berlin uh, on the 11th of June. Uh, then uh, in Cannes on the 18th of June will happen at the Cannes Lions. There's going to be a lot of fun with the Partouche uh, party, which is going to be cool. We'll have the big boat party uh, actually in Zug ourselves on the 20th of June. And I'll be attending that one. On the 25th, uh, we'll have a, the one in Lisbon will be really cool. Uh, the 5th and the 7th, we'll have Solana Acker House. And then the 8th and the 11th, a lot of people will be uh, in Brussels for ETC, ETHCC. And maybe some new things will be revealed there. <laughs> Okay, guys, Carve is a new alpha deal, a very, very exciting one. Uh, essentially, what Carve is all about, it's about bringing a modular data layer for gaming and AI. It has a really a big mission, which really wants to bring this new data uh, and uh, to put it on chain and to reward gamers uh, in a way that this could be fun, fair, uh, which is nice. I think so. What what is uh, the good thing about uh, this project? I would say is the opportunity to become a node operator. This is something that's seeing more and more. IET is a bit similar to this one. Uh, what I would like as well to put in front as well is that this is the community and the people behind its very strong Asian team that have raised a lot of money with mainly the big Chinese investors. So it has really huge backing, but not only Chinese, there's as well uh, the essentially MetaMask because it's building a lot of things on Linea, which is nice as well. So it looks like it's a bit gonna be like a CRM uh, for the, the gamings, the gamers and, and AI. I don't know how that will work to be honest, uh, but it looks really solid. Uh, I really believe that uh, they're gonna probably be listed on one of these uh, sweet, um, they're going to be listed on one of these sweet, um, you know, tier one exchanges, which is good. Um, there's going to be many different deals. If we go quickly in the in the um, the whole investment thesis, uh, it has a lot of different things on the tech stack: from identity layer, storage layer, competition layer, execution layer, verification layer. So it has though the big play, and 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 there's already Carve Play and Carve AI that exists. It's it's a company that has done already money in the Web two thing. Uh, it says that it has a lot of different users, uh, wallet addresses, a lot of different games are being building on this. And on the AI side, it says, because Cal has been one of his virtual companion, Kara, with the own goal of helping users navigate Carve and the broader crypto system. It presents Carve Play social network plugins such as Telegram, can't be integrated in Web3 wallets, ID integrations, or Anton based games. So I don't know how this will evolve. Uh, let's, let's face it. Uh, looks like beautiful worlds and not necessarily things that do uh, come true. But at least I would say the the um, the interesting part is definitely the the gaming side, which this is something that is really big uh, and and that um, and they have essentially a huge Asian community already. So I think so that this is where where it's quite nice, the protocol, the play, we talk about the play. So here we see essentially all the games that are already there. Uh, as you can see, there's there already a, a, a fair enough of different, okay, too many things <laughs> typically uh, from those that region, way too many things here, crazy as it is. But it has already a lot of different cool games that uh, you could be playing on it. Um, and this is Counter-Strike uh, that it is. There's some missions that goes with this. Obviously the mission things has been played and replayed and multiple played multiple times, but still something that I think so makes a lot of sense. Um, and they have, yeah, I think it's a big community. Let's check out this thing, by the way. So if you go on the website of Carver.io, you could definitely see that, uh, well, there's a huge amount of people that have been on there. 12 million, that's just insane amount of people. 
uh, when you think about it, it's really, really, really good. You see a lot of people coming from Galaxy and, and Zilli, the competition here, which is normal because they're all these quests. And as I probably said earlier, it's a lot of Asian, but there's a lot of Russian people as well, which is very interesting. Then there's a lot of, yeah, I would say it's a, it's a big mixed countries, uh, which is quite nice to see that. Um, it has some Eastern European and to some extent, a lot of uh, Asian people that's coming on it. <clears throat> um, I think that this this is definitely a, a good one to look into. Um, you know, the team itself is great. The investors behind it, you know, as Temasek is one of the biggest Singaporean venture fund that exists. ASG, Tribe Capital, Hashkey, you know, all those guys, OKX, Fenbushi. So, you know, there are going to be of course, uh, beyond OKX, there's no doubt about that. I know that the founder, he was very listed close to Binance as well. So there's probably good stories that are going to happen. So the token economics. So we see that the founding team has essentially 17%, which is okay-ish. It's fine. Early investors. So these are all the VCs. They get essentially 20%, uh, which is there. Then the ecosystem, it has... Liquidity for exchanges, uh, for market makers, essentially is 4%. Then you see, again, uh, the 9% goes to the nodes community. Uh, and then at the, you know, sorry, the ecosystem treasury gets only 9%, then 50% goes to essentially the nodes and the community. So that's a lot that goes through that, which is quite cool. Um, Nodes in the community through the various is 50%, as we just said. The treasury holding is 9%. So I think so this is quite well done, and the token economics in general is is quite fair. I think so. So I think so that's a good thing about this project, and the institution is pretty pretty on that one. So all in all, um, I don't know the team enough. I, I would not be able to really know this. This is a little more long-term play. Um, what I like about this as well is that the node sells, I think so it's category three, so it's much cheaper than others. So we're very at early stage, which is good. Um, people will probably be able to withdraw some in within the, the ecosystem. If you look at um, the valuation right now, I'm not too sure where the valuation is. Um, yeah, this is something to be brought in. Uh, I would like to see more of that, uh, but it's not here, unfortunately. But Deepin and AI gaming, obviously something that is boosting, and we know that very much. Um, strong backing, strong team, uh, smart vision. Uh, so, yeah, I think so. It's definitely a good uh, theme to be played. Uh, and I'll be looking forward to have this uh, after tomorrow. <laughs> if you want to be part of a wonderful community, Riffle Bounties of the Week is a product manager, uh, product designer, treasury specialist, and DJ marketing manager. Community member of the week, uh, Bands1337, mille merci à toi. He's been part of the community for a very long time. He's been doing a tutorial actually right now on Solana, how you could actually mint, uh, sorry, you got to get a part of the liquidity provi provision on essentially Camino, something I just showed you just before, which is really cool. Guardians, we're asking you guys to burn, uh, to get rewards, have the safety net, or do more with the tokens that will happen in the 11th Guardian. So please scan this up and let's make it happen. Borg and some data this last week was a great one. We had almost 500 people that got into the premium, which brings us to almost 155,000 people in the app, which is amazing. And there was a big pump, of course, that little had a dump today, unfortunately. Weekly data, not doing too well, to be honest. Uh, we're less than 1,000 per people uh, on number of KYC verifications in the week. Net flow a little bit up, but not great. Uh, the volume in the exchange was very low, actually. Uh, and the user activity was good, though. Presents the community index, unfortunately not a great score, 4.7. Things are not too wild. It is what it is. Guys, couldn't be more excited. I mean, last week was fantastic. Uh, the the one in Lausanne had such a great energy. You know, you know, almost 500 people there. 
Uh, it was so nice to have those small conversations. I think so. We really did a great keynote there. The one online was not, I think, so as good. Uh, you know, maybe it was a bit too much information there. Maybe it was a bit too long. But I still, still was very happy to see that you guys were really pumped about this and how the Borg has really this new space, this new way, this new era, this new chapter that we're writing together. We have now five... 300 people on chain uh, and I hope this will bring more and more people to not only yourself but really people around the world to start realizing how the Borg has a strong new play within the Solana ecosystem with Camino and multiple different other different ways. Uh, there are so many trades that are happening right now as we speak in terms of Borg. So a lot of arbitrage and different things, so not the healthiest thing, but it's still really good to be present there because people start seeing that ticker more and more and be like, oh, I need some of that, especially when the pump, the big pumps are going to happen, which I hope are going to happen. And I'm pretty sure it will. Um, the, the, the other thing that I really want to notice here is how this, this great presentation, the keynote of last week, was from a soon to a now. And I think so we really proved the Borg, you know, on chain, the whole thing happening. Uh, just right after here, we have essentially talking about Thematic that'll be launched. Boom, happens next Tuesday. We have a Thematic launch with RWA, which is a huge thing. More to come, list listing of tokens and many things that we talked about. Obviously, the Borg pad is going to be a huge, big release as well. And this Borgie or whatever, this new meme token battle, hope you guys are going to, going to get your hands dirty and your minds a bit fun and, 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 and just make some good stuff together where we as a community could grow and learn how to grow together. Because at the end, the most important thing that we have is how we are attached to this financial freedom cause, how we together can build this army, this army that could bring, you know, these green laser eyes to Mr. Everyone and how we together could change the value of our society, how we could bring value to us and the one we love the most and the most meritocratic way. Uh, so much more to happen as well with Galactica uh, next week. That's going to happen uh, too. So, you know, the great thing about Swissborg is we're always rewriting history in multiple different ways. Sometimes, you know, it won't be great. Sometimes it'll be good. Sometimes it'll be okay. Sometimes it'll be so-so. But on the long run, if you look at, you zoom out, you feel where you're at and you feel where you're heading, you definitely have this really prosperous mindset. And and with that, back to the green laser, lads, as always, be healthy, be wealthy, love our boring iniquity. Much love, guys. Take care. Bye. Thank you for watching our weekly powwow episode. If you enjoyed the show, make sure to leave a like. And if you didn't, tune in next week anyway, so that you can figure out if it's better then. Bye.